Hello guys, welcome back again to Motion Cube. Uh, today we will make uh, the uh, video that you saw and it's very easy. So we're going to create first a box here. Uh, next with this box we will go to fill it and press so you will have an edges to reflect lights. Okay, cool. Now we will go and create a ball, a sphere. It's not visible because we need to lift it up here. Let's make the segment fairly a little bit high, so I'm gonna create smooth circle here. Now let's decrease the radius. Let's put it about the center here with the box. Okay, now uh, Oh, we don't need those the shader all this you know stuff okay okay so now let's select the sphere and uh, go to boolean and press alt so the boolean will be father of the sphere and will throw the uh, the cube here all right now we created this uh, this hole inside so there can be a cover uh, up there here. Now we're going to select everything uh, right over here, right selection, uh, right selection and let's go to connect object and delete and it become only a one object. Okay, next we're going to do okay, next we're going to do is we're going to select the uh, the edges right over here. Now let's go to spline and go to convergent. And with convergent, let's edge the spline. And now we have, if you isolate that, we have a, uh, a edge here, and it's not render still yet. Okay. <coughs> so go to spline here. Okay. Let's let's isolate that to see what is going on here. Let's put it outside here. No, no need for this box. Yeah. Go to the spline here, isolate it. And then we will go to extrude, press Alt, and here is the extrude. Now let's make it fairly, not very thickness here, something like 2. Maybe 3 is good. And then let's add a roundness a little bit there. Just like so here. All right, to catch the light, and I'm gonna select both uh, the extrude and the spline, and go to connect object and delete. Now here's the thing: if you want to rotate that right now, you can see it's not rotating at, at the right axis. So what you need to do is you need to go uh, to uh, to mesh and then go to axis and let's put that at the center here. So right now become at the center. So once you um, once you rotate it, it's going to rotate in the right axis. Okay. Now let's set some material. Now for the box, let's isolate it. Um, let's go to the boolean and let's name it box. And extrude, let's name it cover. Okay, for the box here, we can select the inner and apply this red shift material, which is a wood. Not that, not that fancy material. If you double click that, you're going to see it's only texture with wood and just basic material. All right. Next, we'll do we're going to go red shift and, and uh, make another uh, basic material. And this time, it's going to be the other face here. So let's select the other face and let's write that for that material. Right now, it's very reflective. So we're going to go to Redshift uh, Basic Properties. And we're going to go Reflection. And we're going to... So this is the reflection here. Up the refraction, let me check. Reflection. We're going to decrease the reflection and increase the glossiness. Now let's also change the color to white color so we're gonna match the auditorium all right <clears throat> a 
let's now go back here. Now for this cover, here's the, here's the thing I want to teach you today. Um, we're gonna first put the basic material. So we're gonna control C, control V, and there's this uh, material here. We're gonna throw it uh, right on the uh, on the cover. So right now it's a white. That's okay. Let's see now what we're gonna do. So we're gonna select with control the cover and the box. Then press Alt and G, and we're gonna uh, uh, create a uh, group here. Next, we want to do is want to go to MoGraph, and there's the cloner. Press Alt, and you're gonna start creating that MoGraph. It's a grid array, so for this tutorial, we will do six by six. All right. Now let's create the animation. Um, I'm gonna freeze this a bit there, so it will not affect. Uh, our animation and I'm gonna go to 200 is good and at 20 I'm gonna select okay right now let's disable the cloner that's okay now let's go to the uh, cover here and I'm gonna rotate that of course uh, put the outer key and make sure that all the rotation, the scale uh, is turned on. Now you don't need the scale and position, but make sure that the, the rotation is turned on. So uh, let's create a key here. Go to 40, and with 40 now, let's create this animation. Press Shift, and it will shift to 180. Now this is the first animation. Now we're gonna make it go back. Press another key here at 100 and at 120 we're gonna press control and 120 we we, uh, we copy the first uh, frame so this is the animation we have right now then after that it will go back so it's about 160 the animation uh, will take so 160 is enough for this animation because it's gonna loop Okay, so we finished that. Let's uh, disable the uh, the auto key. Yeah, let's bring back the cloner. All right. Let's now bring back the color here. Now, right now, you know that if we uh, apply a color to the cover, like a blue color, you're gonna have this blue color and first the animation is happening at the same time that's not what we want so you saw in the video it's happening it's not in the same time so what we need to do first is we can add a vector so let's go to vector here uh, let's go to MoGraph vector and first we're gonna add a step so you see it mess with the uh, position and scale that's okay disable the scale and okay position is already disabled and uh, I'm going to keep this off here and just uh, keep the time offset here let's make it like 12 now let's see what happened when we put it on the 12 ah started to happen so let's make the time offset about 30 see what we get okay let's disable this a little bit there let's press play and see what is going to happen here oh cool now you see it's happening with the step and that's the animation that we're looking for now let's create the, the color now we need a gradient and we need this movement uh, and that's pretty simple we're about to finish now so with the cloner is uh, selected we're going to go to effector uh, MoGraph effector and let's go to shader also missing with the scale so let's disable and we're gonna use the vector color here all right now let's go to shading and let's apply gradient so gradient is right over here now you see nothing really is happening because there is no connection between the material and the shader 
So let me show you first. So let's go to uh, gradient load preset. I'm going to use this color. It's cool. And also uh, for the animation. Um, okay, that's good. Could add a bit of um, randomness with the turbulence here. You see, we're going to start having this shape here. And we're going to go frequency and let's. No, no, forget about the frequency right now. Now go to fall off, and inside the fall off here, we're gonna add a colorizer, and also in the colorizer, uh, we're gonna add also a uh, gradient. So here's the gradient, and I'm gonna apply that preset that we we made, we took it, uh, we we selected before. Okay, now that's cool. Now still, if you play, there is no color, you can't see anything. So what to do? First, we're going to go to the uh, material here. Now let's search for user data. And here is the color user data. So I'm going to bring it down here. And I'm going to first uh, bring it with the base color here. Diffuse. So it's going to be a black. Now let's go here and you see the mole graph color is uh, turned on. So you see, even if you don't see it in the, uh, in the viewport, but now you can see it uh, right over here. But now the, color, the, 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 the changing the color is not happening yet. So that is happening when, well first let's, let's a little bit bring the light a bit down here also dome light yeah a little bit now let's go to uh, to the cloner effector and the shader okay the shading so let's go to frequency and I'm gonna make it three and now you have those color that pops just like that cool huh all right now finally let's add the uh, the movement so while you're selecting the cloner, we're gonna go to MoGraph, Effector, and let's go to Random. And uh, let's go to uh, Parameter, remove the position, and keep the scale. And I'm gonna go to the Y, something like 20, as a start, too much. <laughs> let's make it two. All right, let's make it one. Okay, but now it's not playing uh, the animation. So why is that? Because we need to go to um, the fall off here. So once we go to fall off, and by the way, it's an uh, addition after uh, uh, R20. So you can't find that before that uh, symbol for diverging. Okay. Oh, I think I pressed something. So let's go now to shading again. Uh, shader field. And inside shader field, Gonna go to custom uh, color, and here we're gonna add a noise, so you start seeing the movement. And inside the noise here, first we will apply some animation, something like two, and uh, the loop also make it two. Now the cycles also should be two, and now we have a movement. So let's play, see how it looks. Okay, let's close that a bit there. Play it. Ah, so here's the movement. That's cool. All right. Now, if you want to create that look uh, you, you saw before in uh, <coughs> with the camera, uh, first let's create a camera. Make sure that you are inside the camera here. And go inside. Now we're gonna bring the uh, the focus of the camera right where you want. So right now it's right over here, something about here. Next we're gonna do is we're gonna go right click, go redshift tag, uh, redshift tag, then go to redshift camera inside redshift camera. Let's go to bouquet, and then enable that. Now we're gonna go to focus distance. Let's increase that. 
and you see right away if you press this you're gonna see that you start having that effect the bouquet effect so bring back the camera just a bit there maybe go front all right here so now you see the focus on this bowl uh, right over here so once you play the animation we have something similar to the video you saw before okay so uh, we're finished so that's the end of our tutorial uh, i hope you like it i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something new please subscribe to my channel and see you in a new tutorial